All right, it has been a long time since we've done content in the conference room, and this time I have someone different in the seat. Um, before it was Kyle Downs and I, we talked about the importance of social media and how you should use it within your marketing campaign. Well, today I have kind of the marketing guru himself, right? He's smiling, but he, you know, he knows I'm telling the truth. It is Mr. Jay Howard, our marketing manager here. And today we're gonna talk about really putting together a true campaign, how you can really manage and measure it. We always talk about don't don't buy something if you can't manage and measure it, right? right. So. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of times nowadays you look at uh, kind of a set it and forget it kind of mentality. Crop yeah. Absolutely. You plug it into the machine and it's going to work for you, baby. Um, but <clears throat> what we really pride ourselves on, what you know, a good marketing manager does is actually manage it. We can come up with the idea of what's going to work after we know the client, what they want to do, what success looks like to mm -hmm. them. And uh, <clears throat> when we get that in our minds and we know who the audience is, we know who we're targeting, uh, we know what success looks like, and then we can measure and manage, you know? So when we talk, you know, was it uh, either a month down the line or three months down the line, mm -hmm. we can actually show them, this is what's working, this isn't, you know, this just isn't working, so let's find stuff that will work for you. But uh, yeah. Do you think like, it's, I, I see this a lot with a lot of local advertisers where, they think, oh, I need to be on radio, I need to be on television or the billboard, but they don't have up front what a KPI is, and hopefully the creative team will put like KPI right there across the screen. But like a KPI is like a key performance indicator, like like you said, what does success look, look like? So before they do this TV campaign, they should know, okay, I'm gonna spend this amount of money, I'm gonna not spend, I'm gonna invest this much money this is what success looks like if we can get this back or if we can take our searches up but i see a lot of local clients who think okay i'm just going to run the number one and i have number one results yeah yeah i mean you you look at uh you know most people that come to you i'm sure you know whoever's watching this is no stranger to the advertiser hair slick back coming in and saying hey we're the biggest in the market the madman or the sad man <laughs> nowadays, right yeah yeah we've got the biggest audience you have to be with us nobody else is you know getting the kinds of eyeballs that we're getting but a lot of times you know they might not even they might not even be lying obviously but at the same time you know is it the right kind of kind of audience for you wow. you know what i mean and you're going to be spending the most for them um but is it the smartest spend you know what i mean because uh, like you said the kpis the you know key performance indicators you know is it driving real results Sure, a lot of people are seeing it, but are the right people seeing it? Mm. You know what I mean? So that's kind of you know where where we start. That's what we want to know, and that's what we're going to you know hopefully bring to a specific client. You know what I mean? If you want people in your store, you know, yeah, it starts with people seeing your ad, but the right people seeing your ad that will ultimately become a customer for you. True. Now, there's a lot of advertisers that won't. Uh, they may not need us. You know, they may not be at a level where they need an agency or someone like us, but. How would you recommend that uh, a local, let's just say a local advertiser, how do you recommend that they should look for success or manage their campaign? What, do you, what would you recommend to them? I'd recommend, first of all, like, like we were talking about, what's, what's success look like to you? Um, I would say know your audience. You know, much like we as an agency have our ideal customer, we have our ideal kinds of clients mm -hmm. that you know we will work well with them. They will work well with us. Much like them, you know, who what what what's the ideal kind of person that you want walking through your door? Right. You know, what's that profile look like? Mm -hmm. uh, and then we structure a kind of marketing strategy around that kind of ideal cl uh, customer because you know uh, we don't you know want the wrong kind of customer coming in. You're spending manpower. You're spending money right. on all these different kinds of people that just aren't right for you. Right. So based on you know the kind of budget, maybe we're the right kind of agency for you, maybe we're the wrong kind of agency for you. If you want something that's a place it, a set it and forget it kind of thing, we're not your guy. We're not your guy. You know what I mean? We're gonna we're gonna structure a fine tailored suit, you know, for your you know ideal customer, but that comes with a lot of uh, I want to say a lot of work, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's it's more of, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be working a lot together, you know, to try and bring in that right kind of customer to you, you know what I mean? We're not just gonna plug something into a machine, crank it out, and then just push it to it. it. It takes the client too, and I think it takes a lot of partnership between the client and the agency. A lot of times I see where 
the clients may treat the agency as a vendor instead of a partner. When they have that partnership and they communicate, that's where I see where success happens, and that's where I see sales goes go up, and that's where I see results come in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, we're we're partners. You know what I mean? Like uh, you trust us to help you, and we're going to try and help you as best as we can. You know, and if we are, great. If we aren't, then best of luck to you. Shake hands, go about our ways. You yeah. know what I mean? Because if, if you're paying us money to make you more money, or you know, not even make money, just be more significant in your realm of business. You know what I mean? And if it's just not working, then sorry. You know, it was fun working with you. It was a you. good ride. It was a good ride, you know what I mean? But uh, the thing is, you know, that doesn't happen that often. But the reality of business is, you know, just some partnerships don't work. But, uh, you know, as far as, you know, what kind of partnerships, I, I like that word that you brought up, is, you know, we're working well together. We, we come in and we really enjoy, you know, working with you. It's it, a lot of agencies, and don't quote me on this, a lot of agencies, you know, we have a client coming in. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, they're going to be here today. No, no. And that comes with, you know, the kind of ideal client. You know, we know these people top to bottom. You yeah. know what I mean? We want them coming through our door and we want to, you know, greet them coming through the door. We want to help them. They want to help us. And, you know, it's that kind of partnership. Anytime that we look up and we're like, oh no, is he coming in? Is right. she coming in? You yeah. Know? I mean, if you're ready, if you stay ready, you never have to get ready. Absolutely. You know, you said, uh, about enjoying something. I enjoyed this. And so we're going to end it here. So there's, there should be more to come, I think. Absolutely. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. I couldn't say YouTube. Or log on to our website, veryimportantplacement.com. Or feel free to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and also to the best creative team in the world, Craft Creative. Thank you so much. This has been Content in the Conference Room.